Hello guys, this is Nobody Lust, and today I'm here to um, make a guide video actually. Um, so let's just say you want to play this game and you actually have maxed level, but you don't know what to do from that. Um, well, this video is for you guys who doesn't know what to do after level 100. Okay, well, if you just level up, you won't have any gear. Oh, I have it right now, but this is the only character that I can use to do guide video. Um, but let's just start with the Ghent Palace. Um, this dungeon you need to do to get a unique gear. That will pretty much... You can pretty much use that to um, do like a legendary dungeon and maybe you could actually do the black shrine well but let's just start with it so again palace you probably have to do normal expert is going to be a little bit too hard uh, let's go probably don't need to kill that uh, named monster actually I haven't done the Gant palace ever because <laughs> I actually don't need to do big farming. Let's go here. Yeah. I think the reason why you kill this um, named monster is that um, ah, that's the way. Actually, you actually have to go there, up there. Fight. His name monster. I'm actually way over here to do this Gant Palace. That's why it looks so easy. So the reason why you do Gen Palace, you can do, you can get 20 re rewards per day. Wow, I actually didn't know that. Is because you want this material. Um, I think I yeah from her. What's her name? Incy or whatever. Um, and yeah, just get your armors and accessories. Even weapon actually. Double equipment as well. So once you um, finish like unique armors here, like fully get like your 12 unique armors or in gears, and um, then you move on to legendary farming. Test town. Probably have to do normal as well. Um, you have to kill this main monster he of the Isle Light. And this one he. Apparently my friends say you have to do in that order because um, if you don't, the boss monster will be a bit harder and annoying to deal with. Oh, wow. So yeah, you, this dungeon you farm, 
for the legendary armors, which is the next level from that unique. Once you actually farm full legendaries, you are actually good enough to do the uh, last content called the uh, Oculus. So you just need to keep farming this place until you get like full legendary sets. But you're better off um, starting this um, legendary dungeon uh, after you finish the unique because it's actually a bit hard. And right now I'm actually way over geared to do that unique dungeon. I mean the legendary dungeon. Um, there, there's other way you can actually um, like progress faster is actually buying the legendary dungeons um, there's like a if you go to channel 62 there will be people well the parties um, saying like 2 plus 2 um, 400k or 200k like looking for customers you can do that but that costs money and yeah, I don't really recommend it it's I mean it's fast but um, um, DFO actually gives you a lot of events that uh, provides you with the unique gears and legendary gears, so you can just wait that. And other dungeon you must do will be in Harlem. Area is called the uh, Operation Hof. Have to this. Uh, you have to do this dungeon. I think three times per day. No, three times per day. Uh, but uh, only do twice a week. I think. Yeah. Uh, this dungeon you do to get um what you call this. Yeah, fragmented abyss sets. This is for your um, buff enhancement box. Yeah. And you have to actually find a uh, pass. So you you see there's a like a pest mark. You follow that. Nice. <laughs> really like doing this dungeon to be honest, it actually takes a while. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I have to go there. Make sure you follow the right path because you actually get extra material doing that by doing that. can also press insert button to see oh oh okay so I actually had to go echo in cave so I don't like I can just choose any boss um, I go dying forest why not This place can be actually a bit hard to do as well if you don't have any Yi. So um, you better 
get that unique gears first, then try this. Okay, once you... Or is that, yeah, you actually get reward, random reward. Uh, it's probably... Like... This one's random. Yeah. But you get like the Abyss, uh, abyss Fragment. See, you can get like 60 per... Well, 60 per dungeon and 3 per day. I mean three times per day. So you get 180 per day. And that stones to buy Yeah, whatever piece you need. Like the armors, accessory, sub equipment. But don't buy them first. Um, just wait until you save enough, like, you probably need about 5,500 to buy all of it. You need to buy 11. Uh, weapons, you, there's a weapon as well, 900. You can buy a weapon from auction house as well. And once you've done that... Uh, like 12 legendary fragmented gears you register into your um, buff enhancement box and then yeah you're done you you got unique armors um, that buff box um, and and start doing maybe the legendary dungeon. Once you're fully done with the legendary dungeon as well, you can now try to do Oculus. Uh, but it's not easy actually. Um, I mean, like, if you only have full legendary gears, people won't really take you. You actually need to, like, uh, put the cheap, at least, um, few. What do you call this? Um, Enchantments. Then you can go he us. And I'll put a guide on Oculus later. Alright, that's it for the um, guide. Hope that can actually help you to get to the Oculus. And that's it. Goodbye.